Resul ya Seyyid-i Melek'te Ya Sultan-ı Ya Sultan-ı Ya havle ve la kuvvete illa lillahi l'aliyyil azim. Vaydine-i ve o Allah, olmayta ol mersif ol mevş menifesan, mevş menifesan. Aysa aleyhisselam. Ala nebiyyine aleyhisselatü vesselam. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. He was one of greatest prophets. And calling people to Allah, to his Lord's servant. He was servant. And calling people also to be servants. No doubt. He was a man. He was son of Maryam. No father, only mother. As Allah Almighty asking to be, going to be. Don't say how it, how it can be without father. Maybe if Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah Almighty asking to be, who can prevent his will? Anyone in existence to say for Allah why you did in such a way? How you can create a man without father? He created Nakatu Salih, Prophet Salih's camel from rock. He is creator. He created from rock. With its uh, kid, with his uh, baby, camel. Cow, baby camel. He is creator. If asking to be something, they say be. It is going to be. He is creator. Why you are thinking on it? How it can be? A person without father. Don't make your mind to be tired on that point. No. Okay. He, can, he can do everything. As he created first man without father and mother. Adam created 
not from man and woman, no. He created first man from clay. But women, they are lucky. <laughs> Created and from flesh, from bone or other. Therefore, man runs to soil, to earth, women runs to man. <laughs> <laughs> because our mother, man's mother, earth. And we like to work on earth. We, we have a, spe a special interest for earth to plant, to plant, to look after it. Uh, women created from man and her interest in man. That is true. <laughs> And Allah Almighty He is creator and as a miracle just created Jesus Christ from mother no father. He was asking Jesus Christ. He was asking, who is that one's to be my helpers? Who is that one's whom they are my supporters? Even he was a great prophet. He may say for a dead one, stand up by my Lord's permission. And that one quickly stand up. Some Unbelievers, they are objecting to say Isa, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, say, that one just died sooner than Therefore, perhaps he wasn't dead and awakening. If you can do, come and show your miracle with an old one buried graveyard. And he is saying, yeah, maybe new died person or old died person, same for my Lord. And by his permission I am saying, stand up. He should stand up. And they coming to a grave from the time of Noah. Three thousand 
and more years ago. And he was calling to that person, Oh, the servant, oh my Lord, stand up, come to life. Be alive. And quickly that grave opening and that person is standing up. And his hair and beard were white and trembling. And Jesus Christ asking, what happened to you? And before Sayyidina Ibrahim, alayhi salam, him, it, it wasn't uh, hairs or beards coming white. After Sayyidina Ibrahim going people's hairs and beards to be white. And he was asking, what happened to you? That time through your age, no one's hair or beard getting white. How? You are getting white beard, white hair. And he was asking, saying that, oh, Ruh Allah, Oh Jesus Christ, when you called me to stand up, I thought that last day we have just arrived from the fear of last day, my black beard coming white. He said, Such a prophet. He was asking, who is coming with me? Who is helping me? Who is supporting me? Yes. He was asking, help her. For what? He was asking, helping from people on the Hawari Yun. His disciples answering, We are your supporters, we are your helpers. On whom? Jesus Christ was asking help on good ones or on bad ones? On bad ones. For devils. And devils from first day that man just Coming to live on earth, Satan and devils, they are with us. No, any time without Satan and devils. Every time. They are with us. Sometimes coming on you, catching you alone, and coming to you one by one. Sometimes they are coming as groups. Sometimes they are coming like armies. Satan 
and devils coming like regiments, like armies. And Jesus Christ was asking, who is going to help me? That means even prophets whom they have miraculous powers asking supporters. What, what about in our days? We are in need more than those people. Therefore, now mu'min, a believer, must ask from one believer, a good one must ask from a good one. A just one must ask a just one. A respectful one must ask one respectful one. One pitiful one must ask one pitiful one. One unlearned person must ask one on one a learned one. One honorable person must ask one honorable person. <coughs> one sincere person must ask one sincere person. One sincere one. A generous person must ask one generous one. And so, one believer must ask one believer one. One Muslim must ask one Muslim one. If we are asking a supporter if one supporter coming to coming to you to support you, then Allah Almighty is saying, I am supporting you. I am supporting who is supporting his brother or his sister, or who's supporting one from Ummah. I am supporting him. This is what we are in need. And first, that we lost it. <clears throat> it was coming now, coming less through centuries and particularly through 20th century. These values coming to be less and less and less people asking to be through themselves, not to be with others, particularly not to support anyone. Asking people only for themselves, not for anyone else. And therefore, The supporters of goodness 
yetinglash bat support her rodaus getting much more more and more and we are living in a dunya we are living through a world that good ones and supporters of good ones getting day by day to be less but bad ones and their supporters growing more and more what hope it should be now for the future because the supporters of evils and devils too much from supporters of goodness and good ones and it is so difficult to reach the power to take the power from the hands of devils and satan satan just established his kingdom since 400 years before he has kingdom but his kingdom was in limits now satanic kingdoms borders reaching from far east to far west from north to south and through such a condition we are need supporters for good ones and for goodness we must prepare ourselves for that point don't be hopeless when see getting in and we are vessel becoming sitting on earth then after a while see should come to beach and we are vessel Your vessel going to swim with it. Don't worry. And now it is a difficult time, and good ones they can't find any space to be in it. As ocean getting back and living vessels out its waters running back into ocean now no space for good ones we are not giving our uh, votes to good ones everywhere bad ones there was asking to reach to power and mostly mankind supporting them instead to support good ones people supporting bad ones Then Allah Almighty 
punishing them through those ones, that ones. <laughs> that God elected them, then they are coming to be as a curse on nation. Therefore, now we may do only to be supporters for good ones and to look after good ones. Where is someone from good ones to reach to him and to join to him? Because when we are going to be separated, you can't be able, you will never be able to raise the flag of Rasul And as long as Prophet's flag not coming out, no jihad. And no any ordinary person may bring holy flag from Prophet ﷺ. Must be authorized one. Up to 1924, there was one person who was keeping Sanjay Sharif, the flag of Prophet. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Istanbul, 1924, New Turks, that I am not from them, I am Ottoman. They Hiding Sanjay Sharif, the holy flag of Prophet And they sent out the person who authorized to take that holy flag. Also making him out. Not leaving him, him not leaving him to be in Turkey because they did their worst for Islam and therefore they were, they were uh, fearful. And they sent Khalifa who was protector for the flag of Rasulullah. When they sent him out, no one able to catch that holy flag. Must be Khalifa. And you can't be Khalifa, that not can be Khalifa. Khalifa who appointed through heavenly commands on earth to be Khalifa. And now no Khalifa. And Alam al Rasul. The holy flag of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam also hidden, and we are looking for some awakening through Islamic world and through Muslims. If it can be, then Islam rising up. But devils, they are trying. <coughs> not to reach Muslims to the holy flag, flag of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because if no flag, no jihad. And if flag coming out, every Muslim must run under it, under it for jihad to clean whole world 